I think absolutely it should be as outrageous and as eye-catching as possible. It, we're, we're talking a haute couture here. You know, it's not everyday wear, it's something that's gonna be absolutely eye-catching. Yeah, there definitely should be a theme tying it all together. I mean, and I think the performance and the music should take its lead from the dress and the design. That has to come first. But they should have definitely all be knitted together. Not necessarily. I mean, it really is about how the whole outfit and concept comes together. So we don't nitpick at the, the, the very basis and the structure of the, the outfit. A mood board's not required, but I would certainly recommend it because I think from your own point of view, it'll help you with your creative process. Yes, we look at your outfit up close. We go around, we visit all the designers and check out all the outfits before the actual show begins. Which is great fun because we get to meet you and interact and see where you came from. The regional finalists will be announced on February 14th with everyone receiving an email by the 15th. In total, 320 dresses go through, which makes it 80 dresses from each region. You can use props, but I would say use it to a bare minimum, something like an umbrella, a hat, and certainly not anything that's gonna distract from the design and the performance. Dancers, I wouldn't really recommend. The deadline has been extended this year to February 7th, so there's still time to get them in. Well, personally, I'm looking for pop, which is personality, originality and performance. And by personality, I mean something that is unique that we've never seen before. Originality, originality in terms of materials always really gets me going. And then obviously the performance element, because really the performance can win it for you. You get a performance right and it ties in with everything else, you're golden. <laughs> I think the most important element of a junk feature design is the use of materials and fabrics. And it's not necessarily using the most outlandish materials, but it's how you use the materials you use. Um, being innovative, being creative, and thinking outside the box really uh, creates fantastic outfits most of the time. Well, my favourite from last year was one that had grass. It was, I think it used AstroTurf in the skirt, and it was this big, fit and flare style uh, dress. Massive big skirt on it, bold green. It really stood out, and then the texture to it was incredible. Love that one, but it didn't win.